we're getting ready to ship this oil water separator. The three main components for cleaning out the oil from the water are what we call Q-Packs. The oil skimmer Q-Packs will need to be cleaned quarterly or depending on how busy you are. The oil water separator bucket will need to be emptied weekly or examined. If there is oil in the bucket, you will need to dispose of it in an environmentally friendly way. And then simply reinsert the bucket back on. Another thing to inspect is your oil sock, which will be, need to be inspected quarterly and replaced, and or depending on how busy you are. The recovery pump maintenance item is a zerk fitting on the front of the pump to ensure that the gears have lubrication so you don't wear out the gears. And that's simply it for the recovery pump. Place the safety lid back on and bolt it together. This is your cube pack, which is the first line of defense in the oil water separator, which can be either cleaned up once in a while with a hot pressure washer or can be replaced through a veer. This here is the oil sock, which is the last line of defense in the oil water separator and cannot be cleaned, only replaced. Both of these items are inside of this oil water separator, which I'm gonna take apart and show you right now. The drain ports on the bottom here, there's three of them, one for each chamber. They are for cleaning or purging out sediments or particles that fall into the bottom of the tank. And all you have to do is simply open the valves up and allow for cleaning. As you can see, the maintenance on this is very simple. However, if you're running high production, you wanna make sure you're checking the cube packs, the oil skimmer bucket, the oil sock, and how clean your bottom of your tanks are more frequently. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us at Revere.